So this is a proof of concept video showing off direct manipulation in Maya. So typically in a Maya rig, you would have NURBS curves as the shape for all of your controls. So you select the actual curve and then use it to deform the mesh. But what you can do is using custom locators, you can draw a subset of the faces of the mesh and use that as the selectable portion of your control. So I'll hide the curves and you can see that just this works just as well as having the NURBS curves there. So you could have a little face patch for each control that you wanted and you would use that instead of using uh, NURBS curves for your controls it does have a pretty major performance hit. Um, I think I may have this right on, that on smooth preview. So you can see that it is kind of chugging along, not quite at 10 frames per second with this brow control. And if I was doing parallel evaluation and didn't have any of these mesh locators, this would be at about 50. So it's significant once you start to add more controls, which is why I'm showing this proof of concept with only a few controls instead of doing the whole face. So the reason that it's so slow, I can show you by going into the profiler. So I'll take a look at just the evaluation for a single frame. And so all of this here is the standard scene. You know, it goes through the control, drives a blend shape, and there's a skin cluster, and then you get the head geometry. And so after that, I have something called a submesher node. And what the submesher node does is it sort of manages all of the calculations. Let me pull it up. That have to be done to create those custom locators. The custom locators are the little patches that we're selecting. So it has an array of inputs where you put in the face IDs that you want to draw and then it outputs some data specifically uh, vertex position and then IDs within that array of positions and you take those outputs and you plug it into the individual mesh locator nodes. Um, this actually is the part that is most efficient. If I were to take the mesh and plug it into each mesh locator individually and do like the face to draw information on each locator, you would end up needing to pull out every point on the mesh for each locator. And you can imagine that on a big mesh like this, if you're getting every vertex position 25 times, if you have 25 controls, that's quite heavy. So instead, what I'm doing internally is I get the vertex position and the normal um, information once. And then inside of the compute method of this node, I efficiently get only the vertex positions and the vertex normals that I need to get. And I'll post the code so that if you want to take a look and see for yourself. But that part is actually quite efficient. So if I go back into the profiler, you can see that the submesher portion, it is quite, it's not a small node. There are a lot of calculations going on, but if we were to compare it to say, this is a blend shape node, the blend shape node is about three times as heavy as it. So it's not terrible. And this is with how many locators? I think that this is, yeah, this is 20 locators, 
20 little nerves, 20 little control patches. Um, when I only had three, when I was doing the initial test, this took one millisecond or 1.03 milliseconds. So it was about one millisecond. Now that I have 20, it's up to 1.24. So the increase in uh, time that it takes to calculate that draw information is quite small for each additional control. Because you can see that going from 3 to 20 only increased it by a quarter of a millisecond. So if I come, but the problem is up here. So down here is all of the computation and then up here is the draw you can see that it takes about this long to redraw the head geometry, which should be our only major draw cost. Like it should be the thing that takes the longest to draw. But if we come over here, all of these boxes represent the individual mesh locators, the individual controls. So you can see that once we've added up to 20, it's actually taking longer to draw the controls than it is to draw the mesh itself. And that's not usable, especially considering that I've only done about half of the controls that are on the face, maybe even less. So if you were to take this and multiply it by two, now we're drawing for quite a long time. I've looked into ways to try and optimize this. This, the sub-mesher calculations to get the information we need to draw the patches is, I think, as optimized as it can possibly be. But the drawing, there are certain limitations that Maya has that are preventing us from optimizing it as much as I would like to. Ideally, I would want to be able to draw them in parallel because none of these locators are dependent on each other. They're all just dependent on their own inputs. They're not like chained together. So there's no reason that you couldn't draw this one at the same time as this one, by which I mean there's no data that they're both trying to pull at the same time. They have their own data that doesn't get shared. Looking at the Maya documentation, it doesn't seem as though Maya can do parallel drawing in Viewport 2.0. So we're sort of stuck with trying to optimize it in sequence. And you can see that each individual one is not terribly long. If I zoom out to show you, like compared to how long it takes to do the calculation, a single draw for a single control is quite small. But in order to do the drawing, there's a prepare to draw method. And in that method, you have to pull out the data from your node using mplugs, which is slower than the alternative method of using a data block, which is why the compute methods of nodes are faster. After the prepare to draw method, there is a add UI drawables method, which actually does the drawing, like you tell it, I want you to add these elements to the UI. There are, well, one of the limitations that I'm dealing with right now is what I think is a Maya bug. Let me show you here in the node editor. So I should just be able to take like the points of the individual triangles that I'm drawing for the control and use that in my drawing. But 
there's some sort of issue with trying to pass the information as a point into the add UI drawables method. For whatever reason, it causes a crash. At the moment, I'm working around that by converting the endpoint array to an M vector array, and then I have to convert it back again to actually draw the mesh. So those two conversions are adding quite a bit of weight to the drawing time. When it comes to development, I think that this approach to making direct manipulation work in Maya is pretty much at a dead end. Um, it's just not efficient enough. It's just not efficient to draw individual triangles to create these deformable mesh controls. I have seen another way of doing this uh, from Stephen Kandel that uses um, actual meshes instead of uh, locators that look like meshes. And so he uses a deformer to make them follow along with the deformations of the mesh. He kind of snaps the individual vertices of the control mesh to the face mesh. I don't know if that solution is lightweight enough to work on an entire facial rig or an entire body rig, ideally. Um, the only other method that I'm considering looking into would be seeing if using like an MPX context tool could get us the results that we need. Because I suppose that you could have the mouse click see what face you are clicking on and then use that information to determine what transform node to select. But I'm not sure how easy it would be to implement highlighting the regions of the mesh the way that this does. 